how do you get that modern, no hardware look in your kitchen or bathroom cabinets? And when I say no hardware, I don't mean that it has some hidden bar or lip that you open the cabinet with. I'm talking about a truly handleless, flush, modern design that so many people want these days. This week, I teamed up with David and Norm Dalholt and Roger Sheck of Linwood Builders in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Their company specializes in extremely high-end, technical custom homes, which often employ a lot of modern features. We walked through one of their recent projects and discussed what it takes to create functional cabinetry in this clean, flat style. It comes down to a handful of design techniques and carefully selected custom slides and hinges. All in all, it's not that different from what most cabinets use. It just has a few twists, and you can easily incorporate these into your projects if this is the look you want. So that's what I'm talking about today on The Honest Carpenter Show. These two bathrooms Linwood built for their clients are as beautiful and functional as any bathrooms I've seen. They've got custom sandblasted glass, digital shower controls including window opacity, concrete countertops with ramp sinks, and sleek flush cabinets. Of all the components in this bathroom, these cabinet upgrades are the most accessible for DIYers. Really, it's because they aren't all that different from traditional cabinets. When it comes down to it, they're still just nice carcasses plus flat doors and drawer fronts. Linwood's cabinets come from Sunnyside Millwork in Winston-Salem. They build tons of great pieces like this, and their aesthetic quality comes from focusing on finer details, such as grain matching, consecutive doors and drawers. You can see how the linear grain here flows across cabinet fronts and faces. This careful layout work creates visual continuity in long runs and surfaces. That's not something you get in store-bought units, and you definitely don't get it in painted cabinets. Other small details include this false drawer front beneath the concrete sink. This is just a clever hide for the plumbing space inside. But Sunnyside goes the extra mile by creating a visual seam here, which gives the impression of individual drawer faces. That's all just good cabinet design. And it's the sort of stuff that you're only gonna get from a real custom high-end cabinet maker like Sunnyside. But what really stands out to me is the stuff that's going on behind the facades. It's the functionality that makes it all work. If you truly want handleless cabinets, you need very particular hardware for the slides and hinges. And some of it is sort of counterintuitive. For instance, we'll start with the drawers. They're fascinating because they have a really cool dual function. It's the pairing of push to open and soft close. You really need both of these functions if you aren't going to have any kind of handle on the cabinet. Soft close in itself is nothing really new. It's become a fairly common feature in any decent to high-end cabinets. Instead of drawers just slamming shut, the soft close mechanism on the slides controls the final closure of the drawer. You just have to push the front to about the last three or four inch margin, and then it'll gently close itself. Again, pretty common these days. But what really sets these drawers apart is that they also include push to open. If you don't have a drawer pull or a knob, the client still needs some easy way of opening the drawer. In this situation, they can gently press the drawer in and it will then eject about five inches. Not having knobs and hardware lets you then modify the whole profile of the countertop. Normally, hardware sticks out like an inch or more. I'm sure everyone's familiar with like catching a pocket on a drawer handle. With no handle, the countertop can easily be drawn closer to flush with the cabinets below. And it makes just a great aesthetic profile. But in this case, it also presents an issue with interior hardware because soft open and push to close don't come together in a lot of products. The two functions sort of work against each other. To solve this issue, Linwood uses special Bloom hardware. These are undermount slides with a built-in soft close feature, but they've also added these cassettes, one on each side with a tensioning rod between the two to help control alignment. This is some serious engineering. These things look like they come out of a laser printer. They're add-ons, so they're removable but they somehow overcome the hurdle of the soft close fighting against the push to open. As far as we know, Bloom is maybe the only company making them right now. And again, they're crucial to achieving this whole custom look and function. These drawers work amazingly well. Over here, the stand-up cabinet doors are slightly simpler, but also have a balance of hardware. These hinges look like typical Euro-style cup hinges, and they're really not any harder to install. But hidden in the hardware is a backloaded spring. So when you push the door, it'll actually open itself out to about 75%. It's really smooth. You don't have to fumble with the edge of the door or try to fit your hand in there and pull. You just stand aside. Then, instead of soft close, Linwood goes with a really good magnet catch. These canisters can fit into a side-mounted receiver, or they can be bored and recessed into the body of the cabinet itself. Whatever the case, they have a durable trigger pin with a smart adjustment dial for depth and a corresponding magnet on the door. So when the two come into contact, a floating magnet is engaged and the door grabs securely. 
They're a different company, but just as easy to use and operate as the Bloom drawer slides. That's how Linwood achieves that modern flush look, which I was very impressed by. I'm glad I got to see it from high quality builders who care so much about design and long-term easy usage. I'm sure I'll do more videos with Linwood in the future and probably some hardware adjustment videos to show how to line up your cabinets and drawers, which can be kind of tricky. But for now, thanks for watching and let me know what you think about this design down below in the comments. And please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with The Honest Carpenter. I'll see you next time.